Hello. Hello, what's the story? What's up? What's happened, pal? Have you got that there? Yeah, where about you? Yeah, uh, Saints was last time, yeah? Oh, you're down there, yeah? Right, go and see in a few. Sure. Right. What's the story? What's the story? Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Wait, one. Wait, see that, yeah? Nice one. Yeah. Wait, one. Oh my god. Well, what are you doing, aren't you meant to be faster? Oh, yeah, I am, yeah. Look, it's just making sure it's the right one, man. What's your problem, man? Relax. That time of year again, Ramadan 2016. Wait, what is Ramadan? Ramadan is a holy month for Muslims where we fast every day from sunrise to sunset, meaning no food or water in that time. No food or water? No food or water. No food or water. No food or water. For how many hours every day? So, at this time of the year, it's 19 hours a day. At the start of Ramadan, everyone fasts and says, this year I'm gonna get shredded. I'm gonna be so pumped, I'm gonna have abs of steel, I'm gonna have veins everywhere. But then when the sun sets and it's time to eat, they go on this binge where they eat everything around them and then all of a sudden they're gone from cutting to bulking. So in reality, after 30 days, instead of looking like this, they end up looking like this. This year, I decided to add a little twist to fasting during Ramadan. I'm doing a 30 day no carb challenge. 30 days no carbs, what are you, crazy? You're gonna have no energy to train, you're gonna get all skinny, you'll end up looking like a unisex kid. The truth is, after two days of no carbs, your body goes into a ketosis state and two things happen here. One, your body uses fat as a source of energy instead of carbs, and two, your body breaks down fat at an extremely high rate, making it great for fat loss. On the first day of Ramadan, I was 97 kg, now seven days later, I'm 91, so I'm down six, but obviously that's not all fat. Most of that would be water weight because carbs tend to hold on to a lot of water. My goal weight is to hit 80 kg and be lean. By the end of Ramadan, if I hit my target, I'm going to do a 10,000 calorie challenge. But for now, it's time to go to the gym, go do a good shoulders and arm session before I start. On to the next one. Slow progress is better than no progress. 